Back now with a local police department looking to bond a bit better with the community. Uh, today, Chesapeake officers, as well as a couple from out of state, got together to learn what they can do better on the streets. New at 6, turn on your signs, Aaron Kelly, with how those officers will get the word out, Aaron. Well, the police department says the chief planned this training to be proactive. Today, 26 officers learned more about recognizing and addressing bias. Mary Herrick is talking to a group of Chesapeake police officers about bias. All of us have implicit bias, no matter what profession you're in. The retired inspector who worked in the Milwaukee Police Department has been busy teaching about fair and impartial policing. Um, it's a program that's been uh, taught all across the nation. I've taught in every agency from L.A. Uh, to Philly, you know, from New Orleans to Minneapolis. It opens up the conversation. Okay, as long as you can recognize um, that things are going on, it, you have more conversation about it. As long as the communication is there, it betters the department. On Wednesday, part of a three-day training, Herrig was explaining to officers what they should do if they notice concerning trends and appears policing technique. We, they might not even know this is happening. These are little things that you've noticed. Herrig says studies show law enforcement officers do much better in use of force simulators if they've had contact with groups other than themselves. And if officers recognize bias, they might not be as quick to be impacted by it in their behavior. They want to recognize their biases. They are very willing to figure out how they can manage it. They want to know what does the science tell us and how can we do the job better. And the police department says the officers trained this week will go on to train other officers on the force. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.